Oh, what's up, everyone? It's Andy Singer with the Harlan Institute, bringing you more from climaterealism.com. So I was texting with a friend of mine last night, and she asked me why I think that conventional sources of energy are actually better for the environment than renewables. So I'm talking about coal, natural gas, nuclear, those sources of energy. And I thought that was a good, a good question, so I thought I would cover it today. So really, it comes down to this. It comes down to how much energy can you create per square foot of land used? So what I say by that is this. If you're doing, if you have a nuclear plant or if you have a coal plant, you can create a massive amount of energy in a very small amount of space. You don't need a large amount of land to create that energy. Now, if you're using windmills or solar panels to create the same amount of energy that you would create with a traditional coal plant, you're going to have to use a massive amount of land. Now, scale that. So I'm talking about one plant, but now let's talk about no, multiple coal plants or let's talk about powering the entire United States. And I've covered this in the past, but if you're going to power the entire United States with wind or with solar, you're going to have to cover a massive amount of land with windmills or solar panels. Now, factor that in with actual commercial development. So, you know, houses, buildings, commerce, all that. And you're covering much of the United States with buildings and you're really not leaving much room for nature. So if you're actually going to do this kind of thing, and by this kind of thing, I mean cover the entire United States with the renewable energy sources, you're going to end up destroying forests, habitats, hills, just nature in general. So the reason conventional energy sources are so useful is you can generate so much power in a small amount of space. And that leaves room for forests, for nature, for animal habitats. I, like, I am willing to say that fossil fuels benefit the environment under the condition that we will use energy. And then you wonder why do uh, global warming advocates, like alarmists essentially, say that we need to learn to live with less? Well, because we can't cover the entire United States with windmills and solar panels. And they know this, that it will destroy the environment. It would literally be environmentally destructive. So instead, their solution is live with less, which, again, during the whole COVID thing, we're kind of living with less right now. It's not going very well. So I don't think that's really a realistic solution at all. I think the realistic solution is, is improve existing technologies and not move towards technologies that are highly inefficient and require destroying the environment. I said it. <laughs> all right. Well, I just really wanted to give my thoughts on that question. I thought it was a really good question. So I thought I'd bring it to you all today. It's Andy Singer with the Heartland Institute from climaterealism.com. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.